Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the White Rose Doll Care Station. Before we get started, make sure you look at all your pieces. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For step one, you will need part A, which is the left side. You will need part N, which is the fabric pocket organizer. You will need part E, which is the dowel. You will need part C, which is the right dowel support, and part D, which is the left dowel support. And then you will need two of part O's, which are the screws. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is putting the pocket organizer on the left panel. When looking at the left panel, you're going to see a side that has the two holes here. This is where the pocket organizer is going to come off from. So what we're going to do is first take the pocket organizer, make sure that this strip is already put together here, and this loop is where the dowel is going to go through. So now what we're going to do is put the dowel supports on each end of the dowel here in this large hole on both sides. So now to make sure you have the correct dowel support on each side, you're going to see the pockets here. And when looking at the dowel supports, you want the dowel facing upward and this hole to the bottom. If you have them backwards, you need to switch around these dowel supports because that's going to correspond to these two holes here where the dowel needs to go into the top hole and a screw through the bottom. So if you have it correctly, dowel will go into the top hole on each side here and you should see the pocket organizer, you should see the pockets. So once you have them put in place, we're going to come from the opposite side and we're going to put the two screws in. So one will go in down here and one will go in over here. We're going to screw these into place to hold those dowel supports. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a drill to make it a little bit easier. You may also use a drill, but make sure you have the torque settings on low so that you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. For step two, you will need parts G, the top, part H, the vertical divider, part I, the bottom, and four of the O screws. So what we're going to be doing is putting in the vertical divider that's going to be going up from the bottom and then putting the top on. To determine if this one is the bottom, which is part I, you're going to see these two holes on one side that are just going to be simple holes. On the other side, you typically see the warning label. If you see the piece that has the indented holes with the side, that's the top. So make sure you choose the one that does not have the indented holes. When putting in this vertical divider, you're going to see these holes on the long end here. And then you're going to see a side that has the inserts and two more additional holes. These need to be facing towards the longer side of the bottom. So when looking at it, this is a shorter and this is longer. So this is where these inserts are going to be facing, it's this direction. So we're going to get these two holes to line up with these holes here. Again, the inserts and the holes facing this way. And we're going to screw from this bottom here, which here will have the indented holes that will go into the hole on that vertical divider. Those inserts are what hold those screws into place. So once you have this done, again, the short end, you won't see any holes here. And looking at the longer end, you'll see the inserts here. 
Now what we're going to be doing is putting this part G on top here. Again, this is going to be the short side will go here, longer side here, and on the top you want to see the side that has only the two indented holes. The inserts on the other side will be facing downward. So I'm going to line this up here and screw these both into place. For step three, you will need part F, which is the top trim. You will need one of part P, which is a peg, a wooden dowel. You will need six of part O, which are the screws. And you will need this piece that we made in part one. So next what we're going to be doing is putting on the decorative trim. When looking at this piece that we assembled in the last step, you're going to see a side that's got the all white edging here. If you turn it over to the other side, you're going to see an unfinished edge that has a hole. This hole is going to correspond to this hole on this decorative trim here. So if I turn this back this way, you're going to want to screw it so that you can see the decorative design going out. So we're going to put a screw coming in from this back side here. So I'll turn it around so that you can see. And we're going to place it right here and screw this one into place. Next what we're going to be doing is putting on the end panel that the one we created in step one that has the pocket organizer. This is going to be going on to this side here. It'll be on the shorter end so that you'll see the pocket organizer, okay? Now in order to put this into place, there are two holes here. One is meant for a peg and one is meant for a screw. So when putting this into place, the top one is meant for the screw and the bottom one is meant for the peg. So let's put this wooden dowel or peg into this bottom hole here. And then this should come right up into place and put that wooden peg through the side here. So now you're going to see that there's a screw hole here and then there are four that go down that will attach to these pieces on this original frame that we built here. So we're going to put all these screws into place and put all five of the screws in. So first we'll do this one up here in the decorative trim. And to make the other ones a little bit easier, I'm going to tip this all the way up on its side here so that I can line the other four into place. So there should be two that go on the bottom here along this edge of the panel and then two that go on the side that are on the edge of this panel. For step four, you will need part B, the right side, part J, the shelf. You will need five of part P, which are the pegs, and five of the O screws. So what we're going to be doing is first putting on the shelf that will be coming off here, and then that last end panel. Now when we're going to be putting on the shelf, you'll see on, there's an end on both sides that has two holes. This is where wooden pegs are going to be going and then these pegs are going to be inserting into these two holes on the inside here. So what I'll do is I'll put all these wooden pegs into the ends here. And then when it goes in here, we're going to line up those wooden pegs into those holes like so. Now to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to stand this up on its side so that it doesn't tip over on me like so. Um, like we did the other side, there's two holes on this decorative backing. One is meant for the peg and one is meant for the screw. So this bottom hole is meant for the peg, so we're going to put that peg in here. So I'll angle it down so you can see here. So you should have, you should have the two pegs in the side here and then the one peg up here for the decorative edging. So 
So that last thing we're going to do is we're going to put on this end panel and make sure that we get all the pegs put into place. When looking at the end panel, you're going to see a side that has the holes in the middle. That's where these pegs are going to line into that we just put in that shelf. So we're going to put this into place and get those pegs in those holes. Then also that one peg that we put on that decorative backing, make sure you get that one put into place as well. So that all three pegs are now held down. Once you have the three pegs put in, you're going to see the five screw holes here. That's where we're going to be putting all the remainder of those screws to hold it all into place. For step five, you will need one of part L, which is the large basket and its bottom. You will need two of part K, which are the small baskets and their bottoms. So for this step, we're just going to take these baskets and we're going to pull them open. When you pull them open, you'll see that you can look down on the inside. This is where you're going to insert the bottom. So just push it firmly to the bottom so that the basket can hold its shape like so. We're going to repeat with the smaller baskets. Again, opening them up. Going to put in these bottoms here. Remember, fabric facing up, cardboard facing down. And put them in. Nice and firm in the bottom so that the basket again holds its place. And we'll do the same thing with the last one. Open it up. Putting the bottom insert in. So that this basket holds its place as well. For step six, you will need part K, which are the two small baskets, and part L, the large basket that we made on the last step. And you will need part M, which is the fabric mat. For this step, what we're going to be doing is putting the smaller of the baskets into these two openings here, making sure that the handles are facing forward. We're going to put the large basket into this place here. And lastly, put the mat right on top. And that concludes the assembly for the White Rose Doll Care Station. Now remember, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching. Enjoy!